In the beginning of the movie we were shown a campsite near lake called Lake Bond where we see two girls are bathing and having fun. Then we see a boy sitting at the bank of the lake and sharpening a knife implying that he is going to kill those two girls. Then the story shifts to a few years later where we see two boys named Elias and Edit has a habit of going to crime scenes and investigate them at shows the photo and tells that these two girls are murdered by the Lake Boda and asks his friend to go to Lake with him to investigate thinking that the killer might still be lurking around. Later the scene shifts to a family who is having lunch. Then we were introduced to a girl named Ida. Ida's family is so unhappy about an incident that happened recently cause Ida's naked picture has gone viral around the school in everyone is spreading rumors about it. A few days later Ida's friend Nora approaches her to take Ida with her along with Elias and Atu. The lake she tries to cheer up Ida's mood telling her to put all things that has happened to her until now aside and tells her to have a fresh start. When Ida seems to be reluctant Nora convinces her to go to the lake later Elias and a packs up their things to go to the lake and goes to Ida's house to pick them up and while they are waiting in the car Ad asks him if he is the one that took the photo, but Elias simply dodges his friend question questions and while they are talking Ida and Nora comes out of the house later while they are on their way to the lake Nora asks them if the others are coming then Ed tells the others will join later after they reach there after a while of driving they reaches to the lakeside but they see that place as chained to not let anyone enter the place the police has restricted people from coming to this place since the murder of the two girls but the teens breaks the chains and goes in and soon they arrives to the lake and after getting there Nora asks at where the cabin he said about is and Realizing he lied, she gets angry on him apologizes to them and tells he will explain everything later later that night they set up a camp there. Anita sits with A by the fireside. Then Ida takes a look at the two murdered girls photo and asks at why he cares about this stuff so much to which it tells that he is just interested in knowing the truth. Then he tells to Ida that he bring them here cause he is just testing a theory about the killer. He says Ida that she and Nora are the same age and have same features like the girls who got murdered here years before then while setting up the tent at give Elias some wheat and tells him to make the girls smoke it. He gets to the girls and they spend some time smoking the pot later they all sit around the fire and Nora asks at his theory about the killer at tells that the killer might be still on the loose and says this place is like his home and he doesn't like anyone who invades it and also tells he watches his victims before attacking he studies them and learns about them and then picks up a perfect time to attack them and also says that they might be on the watch of the killer since they have a arrived there after Nora and Elias left Ida and Ad talks about the photo that got viral in the school and Ida tells how bad her life turned after the picture later while they're about to get back to the tent. Ida looks into the woods and she sees someone is there with a torch and he is pointing the light towards them. Then Ad returns back to the tent and Ida goes to the lake to take a bath. While Ida is washing herself, she senses that someone is watching her but turns out it is Elias seeing this Ida, storms out if they're in anger and returns back to the tent after they went to sleep. Ida wakes up in the middle of the night after hearing some sounds she wakes up the others and tells them about this. Elias gets out of the tent to check on while the others are waiting in the tent. They wait for some time and Elias hasn't returned back yet while they are getting worried about this. Elias suddenly gets to them and scares them later. Nora gets out of the tent and goes to take a week. And Elias also goes following her back at the tent and tries to tell Ida something about the photos while they are talking. Suddenly a tree branch falls on them. A gets out of the tent and they thinks this is just Elias playing pranks on them after getting out of the tent that sees no one around. Then a gets to Ida and he tells her they should play a prank on Elias in return. Then we see suddenly someone approaches from behind and stabs at from the back and soon A starts to bleed from the mouth. Then Nora hears Ada screaming soon Nora and Elias quickly rushes back to the tent. After getting to the tent they see that it is lying on the ground soaked in blood. They tries to help A and make the bleeding stop but he tells them to run away saying the killer will come back. They all runs into the forest to get to the car. Then Elias picks up a hatchet and goes after them after they left to dies of losing blood while they are walking in the forest to reach the car. Nora gets into a trap and her leg gets hurt when she is unable to walk Elias. Anita picks her up and tries to carry her to the car. But on the way Nora tells them to leave her there and go to the town to get some help before leaving Elias hands her over the hatchet to Nora and they both went on on.
They both runs towards the car but they got lost and gets back to the same place. They started when Ida gets stressed about this Elias comes her up and they started walking to the car again on the way Elias suspects. Ida and asks her how she is safe when Ad got killed then she starts to suspect Elias in return cause. He left the tent. When Nora got out later Elias talks about the pics and tells her that they never existed. He tells that he tried his best to find them. No one has them and says that it is just a rumor passed by someone and says the reason even the cops couldn't find them because they don't exist. But Ida doesn't believe him and tells they exist cause Nora saw them. He then understands that Ida thinks that he is the one that took those pictures and starts to express his feelings about her. When he is expressing his feelings about Ida he suddenly gets stabbed in the heart from back and the killer keeps stabbing him to death. Soon the killer takes of his and it is revealed out to be Nora turns out Nora and Ida planned this all along long cause Ida thinks that Elias is the one who took those picture and due to that rumor her father also died by hanging himself due to embarrassment Ida is devastated after her father's loss and wants to get revenge Sonora and Ida plan this all along then they both gets into the suits and goes to cover the tracks they erases every clue and puts the dead bodies in a bag and throws into the lake and then they both gets back to the car to reach home by time but after getting into the car Nora realizes that they don't have the key and they remember that Elias had the keys with him. They both gets back to the lake and Ida takes off the suit and gets into the lake while Ida is searching for the keys. Nora sees that someone with a torch on the other side of the lake. Ida swims down the lake and after searching for a while she finds the keys and gets back to the surface. Then they both gets back into the car and starts to drive off to the town later. While on the way Ida tells Nora about what Elias said she tells her that he said that the photos never existed but Nora brushes it off and says that she saw the photos by herself but Ida doesn't believe it and asks that if Nora and everyone else saw those photos then why she never saw those? And she puzzles Nora into making her tell the truth. Frustrated Nora reveals that she is the one that spread the rumors about those pics. When Ida asks her wife she did that Nora says that Ida is getting close with Elias and she always used to talk about him. And soon Nora starts to feel distance from her and she thinks that if this continues to happen their friendship will be broken. And that is the reason why Nora made this up when Ida is at a party Nora put something in her juice and made her unconscious. And after putting her in a room she starts to spread the rumors about Ida but she never thought that this would go this far. And Ida's life will get this difficult. Then Ida tells Nora that because of her three innocent people lost their lives and tells that after getting to home she will be telling everything to the cops hearing this. Nora tries to convince Ida into not doing that. When Ida refuses Nora gets angry and pick up a wrench and hits Ida in the face and Ida starts to bleed out but Ida doesn't sit back she gets back and starts to fight with Nora. They both gets into a fight while driving, and in the meantime Nora sees a man standing in the middle of the road with his car. Nora tries to avoid getting into an accident and she runs into a ditch causing a small accident. And soon Nora wakes and tries to wake Ida. Then the man gets to them and sees Nora and knocks on the glass. When Nora pulls the glass the man offers them help. When Nora agrees he goes to his car while he is bringing a rope to tow their car. Nora wakes up Ida and tells her the man has seen them and they have to kill him. But Ida tells she is done with this. Then Nora asks her for knife and Ida tells she doesn't have one when she asks Ida. Then what did she use to kill dad with? Ida tells she thought Nora is the one that killed him and they stands that they are in trouble and soon the killer starts to tow their car and goes at a high speed. Then they both gets into the back seat and opens the back door to jump out. Nora tells Ida to jump first and then she will while they're about to jump. The car runs into something on the road and flies off causing a big accident. Ida is in no position to move and tells Nora to escape who is reluctant to leave Ida alone. Ida convinces Nora to escape from there saying she can't move later while Nora is running away. The killer catches up to her and drags out of the car. In the next scene we see the killer Oz sitting on the bank of the lake and sharpening his knife. He has thrown their car into the lake and tied up both of them and put a mask on their face. Then he gets to them and takes of the masks later he throws both of them into an underground place with full of corpses. Then he starts to torture Nora and kills her but he didn't kill Ida and he left her at her home so that she will be blamed for everything. Later Ida got arrested by the cops for all the murders and no no one believed her on what she said about the killer. In the next scene we were shown that some teenagers are getting to the lakeside to picnic and we see that the killer is stalking them by hiding to continue his killing spree. 
This movie is inspired by a true story of the killing of three teenagers that happened on June 5th of the year 1963 teenagers are killed and the fourth one is found outside the tent with broken facial bones and stab wounds and the cops are never able to catch the unidentified killer but the fourth are named Nils Gustafsson was arrested in the year 2004 for the suspicion of the murders but he was acquitted of all charges in the year 2005 on October 7th but the killer's identity is still not known and different theories have speculated on that killing. And one of such theory is this film and that's it. What are you waiting for? Subscribe the channel to see more recaps and don't forget to like the video and click bell icon to see more videos. Have a good day.